Toledo, we're famous for Glass, Art Tatum, Tony Pacos, Jamie Farr, a world-class museum with Toledo Mud Hens and Wildlife, an outstanding zoo and public library system. But who are the people that make our city so great? Welcome to the Soul of the Glass City podcast. I'm your host, Monique. Hey, everyone. I am here after having a summer that was just amazing. You know, Glass City, we have done some great events this summer, and I just really wanted to share some of my experiences. I'm going to take it all the way back to June. So Juneteenth, I went out to this amazing African-American festival that we had. You know, we had the parade, we had the kids, you know, different organizations. The Alphas were out, you know, the band was out. It was an amazing time. So this year they did something different. Usually we have the concert outside, you know, at the Promenade Park, but then the Huntington Center was the venue and they brought Jagged Edge, Raheem Devon, the Zap Band featuring Bootsy Collins, That was really wild. And we had some local favorites, Kelly Williams, Pokey Bear, Jody with his poetry, amazing. Mike on the sax, like you see him everywhere. You see him at the Mud Hens games. You see him at the hockey games. It was really great. And then I had the pleasure of going to the Juneteenth rooftop celebration. The Library Legacy Foundation, they hosted that partnered with the NAACP, and then they joined with Alpha Phi Alpha. So that was really good. Um, There was great food. There was, um, I remember I came upstairs and I was like, who is playing all this great music, had everybody hustling, and that was DJ Money Knox. It was so fun. I got to meet a lot of people, some people that I haven't seen in a long time. So I was really grateful for that. And to know that the NAACP is doing this, you know, consciously with the library is really an amazing thing because it just shows that there are organizations that really care about Juneteenth and making it a federal holiday. You know, it's very important to us. So also when I was not in Toledo, I got a chance to fly out to New Orleans for the Essence Festival. It was my first time going. So now if you guys ever seen the movie Girls Trip, it wasn't that. I had a like solo experience going to New Orleans and I got to see what it's like to be around a lot of really great businesses and promoting, um, you know, just different African-American companies that I, I actually use, you know, so it was cool to like see the brands and know about different things that was going on. And then I got to see some of my favorite singers and artists. Like I saw Maya and Maya performed and she was like really gorgeous. And I just thought that was really amazing. I missed Music Soul Child. I'm a really big fan. So I didn't get to see him, but I did get to see a couple of different fashion shows, which was really nice. Um, I got to meet a lot of entrepreneurs that had successfully made it in the hair business. And, you know, as a podcaster and a radio person, to see other podcasters and radio people just coming together, they actually had a Black Film Festival, which it was small filmmakers that, you know, made movies and they were actually giving awards and different things like that. So it's really amazing to see people get together from all over the world to celebrate some of the best and brightest minds So I would encourage anybody, if you haven't been, try to get on a plane and go at least one time in your lifetime. I believe even our vice president, Kamala Harris, was in town and it was just madness. So that was another fun experience that I had this summer. Also, for those of you that listened to one of my previous episodes where we had Bad Boys star Dennis McDonald, he actually came to Toledo after hearing all the great things that we talked about you know, over the phone, he decided to make a trip here. He actually did a really great acting panel at Am Osteria. And we had Charlie Mack, who played in a small role in Chicago Fire. He's actually won an Emmy. 
So that's really cool that one of our Toledo people and the Emmy winners got to sit on a panel with a Hollywood star. Then I have my friend Crystal Monique, who was also on the panel, and she stars in a movie called The Secret First Lady. She's also on Tubi on a show that's currently playing called H Block McGraw Avenue. So if you guys get a chance, you know, look her up. She's a great actress, and I really respect her craft. And one of my favorite events that happens every year and is a great uh, pull for Toledo is Jeep Fest. I hope everybody got a chance to see the wonderful Jeeps that drove through our town. Literally all the hotels were sold out for the weekend. I could not believe it. Like I went to different restaurants and things and I saw like everybody had their little duckies from the Jeeps like laying around the restaurants. And so I Definitely think that that is one of our best events of the year. If you haven't got to see some of the customized Jeeps, you missed out. But it was a great time. So, well, that's all I got for you guys right now. We have some great Soul of the Glass City guests coming up. So stay tuned. And I look forward to seeing you guys out and about this summer. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I'm your host and producer, Monique. My executive producer is Chris Piper. Join me next time for another exciting episode of Soul of the Glass City podcast. For more information, if you have questions or comments, go to WGTE.org slash soul. WGTE. Voices around us. WGTE is supported in part by the American Rescue Plan Act funds allocated by the City of Toledo and the Lucas County Commissioners and its